A new study published in a scientific journal on human behavior finds children lost a third of a year's worth of knowledge during that time. You'll remember the, the debates over remote learning and masks in classrooms. Now the race is on to try to get those students back on track. News Nation correspondent Sloan Glass is live. So Sloan, what does this mean for America's youth? Nicole, this affects all areas of childhood development. There's the old adage that children are our future. Well, three years after COVID-19 emerged, did we fail our potential as a country? This analysis showing that some students lost up to half a year of knowledge during the pandemic, and we are far from rebounding from those losses. Globally, students lost about one third of a school year's worth of knowledge during the COVID pandemic, according to a newly published analysis in the Journal of Natural Human Behavior. You could look at um, teen pregnancy rates, you could look at employment rates, you could look at incarceration rates, um, and we know that if we aren't setting students up for success. In October, the National Assessment of Educational Progress exams revealed the devastating effect of the pandemic on learning. For eighth grade students, the average reading score was lower compared to all previous assessment years going back to 1998. And the decrease is worse for math the largest ever recorded decline for fourth and eighth graders. The average eighth grade mathematics score decreased by eight points compared to 2019 and was lower than all previous assessment years going back to 2003. Almost two years later and no upward progress. People who studied this said, be prepared to be virtual, be prepared to be hybrid, but don't close the schools because we've learned about the devastating impact on students, on learning, on their families, on teachers. But it's impossible to know. It's hard to say. It's hard to know what the counterfactual would be, like would more people have died or, or what would have happened. Um, what I will say is that even in places that opened schools, there was not consistent learning gains. Many blaming the increase in crime on school closures. However, the data shows over the past decade nationwide, the rate at which minors have broken the law has fallen significantly. I think it's um, pretty hard to connect any individual input to the certain like outcomes in terms of our crime rates. I think there's a lot of people smarter than me that have tried to figure out what causes crime rates to go up or down. What we do know, shutting down schools had a profound effect on students' mental health. Interestingly, my daughter of the three, um, and she just fell apart. Um, outgoing, she was very active in everything from academic to sports, and we just don't know what happened. Um, she started sleeping through the Zoom classes, and then all of a sudden, she stopped going to certain classes. She was handy in things late. The education researchers who I spoke to say that addressing that attendance decline is key to this problem. Giving students a routine back and also looking at the mental health issues like social anxiety that is keeping some students home. Nicole. All right, Sloan, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.